My name is Lisa. I'm a working wife, living with my husband Noah, just the two of us. Since we both work, we split the house chores. Noah always says, I'm a pro when it comes to vacuuming and cleaning the bathroom. And he takes care of the cleaning for us. That was delicious. I'm stuffed. That was great. Phew, I think I might have eaten a little too much today. All right. I'd better do the dishes before I get too lazy to move. Hey, Lisa. I told you, when you take off your wedding ring, put it on this tray, remember? It's the symbol of our marriage. If you lose it, my life would be over. Yes, yes, I get it. Thanks, Noah. Thanks to Noah's bright personality, we were living happily like this. However, though our peaceful life as a couple was wonderful, we had one issue, his mother would always come over on weekends, and it was becoming a problem. And, like clockwork, she came over this day as well. Oh, the doorbell rang. Who could it be? Noah, sorry, I'm doing the dishes. Could you check the monitor? Sure. It's my mom, again. I really don't want to open the door. But we can't exactly ignore her, right? Hello, Noah, Lisa, I know you're both home. Don't pretend you're not here. Am I bothering you or something? She always makes a scene like this in front of the door, shouting loudly. Since we didn't want to cause trouble for the neighbors, we had no choice but to open the door. Both Noah and I were fed up with it, but reluctantly, we let her in. As usual, we made some tea, half listened to her nagging, and just got through it. Lisa, I'm really sorry. I got to head to the office right now. Oh, is it about that issue from yesterday? You said there might be a chance you'd have to work today. Yeah, sorry. I'll just check on things quickly, so I should be back by early afternoon. Got it. Be careful, and I'll see you later. Before leaving for work, Noah told his mother, Mom, try not to stay too long, and headed out. Left alone with her, there was no sign that she was planning to leave any time soon. Sitting with her didn't seem productive, so I decided to continue with my housework. About 30 minutes later. Oh no, oh my goodness, what is this? I can't get it off. Lisa, help me. Wah. What's wrong? This. This right here. It won't come off. Wait, is that my wedding ring? I was startled by my mother-in-law's sudden shouting. It turns out she had taken my wedding ring from the jewelry tray and put it on without asking, only to find she couldn't get it off. We tried everything, using soap and other tricks, but it wouldn't budge at all. Even worse, her finger started changing color which made me really start to panic. Then I remembered that Noah's older sister, Mia, used to be a nurse. So, that's the situation right now. What should we do in this case? Ah, uh, yeah. Back when I was a nurse, we'd get patients like that sometimes. In situations like this, the only thing you can do is use a ring cutter to cut the ring off. Even if you ask the fire department for help, that's what they'll do. No way. But it's my wedding ring. Oh, and the thing is, it's not me who's stuck, it's... You've got to be kidding me. All right, I'll head over right away. When I was told we'd have to cut the ring, I was so shocked I nearly cried. However, seeing my mother-in-law in pain, I called the fire department to have them cut the ring off. Mia joined us midway, and the three of us returned home together, but... This was the most terrifying experience of my life. I told you I didn't want to wear it. Wait, didn't want to wear it? What do you mean? You, you forced that ring on me saying it would look good on me. I bet you were just trying to get a divorce and purposely made it so the ring had to be cut. What a devious daughter-in-law. Mother, what are you talking about? I know how much Noah treasures that ring. How could you do something so cruel? I'm going to tell him everything. If Lisa really did something like that on purpose, that's a pretty terrible thing to do. Wait, Mia, why are you saying that too? Anyway, once Noah gets back, I'm going to spill all the details. Once he knows about how insidious you are, he'll definitely demand a divorce right away. But, it was you who put the ring on. No excuses. You put me through such a horrible experience. You deserve to be punished for what you did. It's only right. My mother-in-law kept saying outrageous things, and Mia seemed to be siding with her. I was even more shocked by the situation. The ring was split perfectly in half, and as I looked at it, I couldn't hold back my tears anymore. Then, 
Mia smiled gently and quietly whispered, It's okay. I didn't understand what she meant, but then... I'm who? Noah, you have to listen to me. Something absolutely terrible happened. Wait, mother. Hold on. Lisa, let her speak first, okay? Mia. Noah, listen. Just now, because of Lisa, I went through something truly terrifying. Because of Lisa? What happened? And why is my sister here too? What's all this commotion? Noah, Lisa is a wicked wife. She forcibly put your precious wedding ring on my finger. Then, she had the firefighters cut it in half. The ring is ruined, and you know what? When I finally got it off and was relieved, she said, Now I can finally divorce Noah. Can you believe it? Wait. I never said anything like that. She's making this whole scene just to get divorced from you, Noah. Isn't it awful? Now you know how terrible she is. You should divorce her as soon as possible. Uh, Mom. Did you really? Cut the wedding ring in half? Yes, that's right. It was so terrifying. Before you end up in even worse trouble, divorce her and come back home. What have you done? That ring. That ring was my mother's precious keepsake. What? Your mother? I'm still alive, aren't I? Oh, come on. He's talking about Lisa's mother. That ring was her mother's. She passed away when Lisa was in elementary school. Do you get it? That ring was an irreplaceable keepsake for Lisa. My mother-in-law, surprised by Noah and Mia's words, still tried to brush it off. You are saying all that but, isn't it really just a ring after all? Then why do you think my sister and I are so angry? Seriously, I've been holding back my anger this whole time. Mia, you understood all along? Of course. I wanted to make mom admit it herself. Well, if it was such a big deal, why didn't you put a note or something that said don't touch? Are you kidding me? You put it on without asking and now you're blaming us. That ring. It was entrusted to Lisa by her father. He had it resized and gave it to her as a wedding ring. It's incredibly important. I just can't believe it. Using Lisa's mother's keepsake like this just to try to get them to divorce. It's unbelievable. Oh, come on. How could I have known that? Honestly, why are you so desperate to make No and Lisa divorce? What's the reason? Everyone knows they're such a happy couple. Mia, you really don't understand anything, do you? That's all just a front. Lisa might smile on the outside, but who knows what she's really thinking inside. That's not true. I love Noah. I adore him. Whoa, Lisa, you're making me blush. Also, Mom, what does cutting the ring even have to do with getting them divorced? It makes no sense. If you wanted them to divorce, why would you need to involve your own finger? When you put it like that, it does seem a bit odd. Yeah, Mia's right. What were you even thinking, making this into such a big deal? Wait, what? What are you three even trying to say? It seemed like my mother-in-law couldn't quite grasp what we were saying. Watching her, Noah, Mia, and I. Look, Mom, you're the only one who's trying to push Noah and Lisa to divorce, you know that? I have no intention of divorcing Lisa at all. I'm his mother. I can't just sit back and do nothing when I know my son's being taken advantage of. Oh, please, give me a break. And honestly, didn't you try to hide the ring to make them fight? What? Why would you ask something like that? It's not hard to guess. Lisa loses their ring, Noah gets mad, the two of them start fighting and then Noah comes back home. Isn't that the plan? I, I wasn't thinking that. You probably thought the ring was nice, put it on out of curiosity and then got it stuck, didn't you? Mia, you're making it sound like everything is my fault. What's the meaning of this? What's your meaning, Mom? When your finger started turning purple, Lisa was really worried about you. She put your well-being before the ring, even though it meant so much to her. When she smiled and said she was glad you were okay, her eyes were full of tears. She said she was relieved you were safe, but she cried alone after that. Mia, you noticed that. Mom, how could you do something like this? You come here every weekend, talking Lisa's ear off with trivial stuff. And even then, she's always treated you well. What could possibly bother you so much about her? Oh my. Even you are taking that woman's side, Noah. Of course I am. That ring is important to me too. We even talked about passing it on to our future child one day. Oh, how lovely that would be. Mom, are you seriously thinking that if they got divorced, 
you get to live with Noah. In response to Mia's question, my mother-in-law. What are you talking about? It's not a misunderstanding at all. If Noah divorces Lisa, of course he'll come live with me. Are you serious, mom? You really believe that? Of course I do. What a silly question. Noah is such a kind son and when that happens, he'll choose me his loving mother over irresponsible Lisa who loses wedding rings. Even if Lisa kicked me out, I'd stay in front of the house until she forgave me. Oh, you don't need to be so considerate toward Lisa. The fact that you're being so considerate just proves she's bossy and domineering. Do you really think Lisa bosses Noah around at home? Oh dear. It seems both you and Noah are completely blinded by her. What a troublesome pair of siblings. But I guess it can't be helped. You young people just don't have the experience to see people for who they truly are. Mother, I fully understand now that you really don't like me, but... Even if one of us were to lose the wedding ring, or even if we argued, divorce isn't something that would happen. That's just what you think. Well, I don't have any intention of divorcing Lisa either. There you have it. Sounds like the answer from a happily married couple to me. There's no way living with me at home would make Noah much happier. In the end, Noah will choose me. 100% no question about it. Where does that overconfidence even come from? You have no reason to be so sure. It's a mother's intuition. These things are usually spot on, you know? Oh ho ho ho. I was getting increasingly angry with my mother-in-law's selfish remarks. At the same time, the anger over my wedding ring being cut in half began to burn even stronger inside me. Mother. Enough is enough. About the ring. I will never forgive you for that. Ugh. I shouldn't have bothered worrying about your finger at all. Oh my. See, me and Noah. You saw that, right? This is her true nature. Actually, anyone would be mad. Yeah, she's right to be angry. If it were me, no matter what color my finger turned, once I realized it was my own fault, I would have left it alone. Oh no, we should have just left the ring on your finger. At this point, I agree. I was wrong to help. How rude. My finger turned purple because you were slow? I should have left it on until your finger turned black. And honestly, you're too selfish. You come over every single weekend uninvited, making a scene at the door, then spend all day complaining before you leave. It's been a complete nuisance. Oh my. You finally stopped pretending, haven't you? Keep talking all you want. I've been annoyed too having my peaceful mornings ruined with your loud commotion. It's our precious time together, and all you do is get in the way. Mom, you're really getting chewed out. How dare you speak to your mother-in-law like that? This is exactly how I'm going to speak. And once again, I will never forgive you for the ring. Well, I don't need your forgiveness, now do I? Mom, both No and I are cutting ties with you. You'll never hear us call you mom again. After being scolded by me and hearing Noah and Mia declare they were cutting ties, my mother-in-law. Wait, you're not serious about cutting ties, right? I'll be all alone. Someone who can so easily do something this cruel is just going to keep causing problems for others. Maybe it's better for you to be on your own. No, Lisa, don't suddenly be so cold to me. I told you I'm not forgiving you. It's too late for tears now. Please, don't be so angry. Mia Noah, don't cut me off like this. No way. There couldn't be a better time to cut ties than now. Then at least forgive Noah. I'll pay back the cost of the ring. If it were something that could be solved with an apology, I wouldn't be this angry. And based on your attitude so far, I don't believe for a second that you're truly sorry. That's not true. I'll reflect on it, I swear, so please forgive me. Mom, it's too late. We're way past the point where an apology can fix this. Don't say that. Mia, please talk to Lisa and convince her to forgive me. Nick, you brought this on yourself, so deal with it. Then Noah... Please calmly sit down for me. I'm on Lisa's side. You need to accept the consequences of what you've done. Lisa, I didn't know the ring was that important. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. No matter how many times you apologize, I'm not changing my mind. And don't come to our house again. After we kicked my mother-in-law out, we filed a police report and sued her for property damage. We demanded she pay for the ring and also compensate us for the emotional distress she had caused. At first, she worked part-time to pay us back, but her health didn't hold up. 
Having been a stay-at-home wife living off her pension for so long, she couldn't handle early mornings or late nights. Years of that lifestyle left her unable to contribute at her part-time job, and she was eventually fired. Since then, she's become a recluse, with no family to rely on, and lost everything, living a miserable life all alone. As for me. Thanks for the meal, Lisa. You're welcome. I'm glad you ate so much. Sess, where do you even fit all that food? You know what they say, skinny people who eat a lot. It's true. Well, it's because Lisa's cooking is so good I just can't stop. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's eat the cake I brought. What? You're still going to eat more. There's always room for dessert. Since then, my mother-in-law never came over on weekends again. Thanks to that, Noah and I were able to spend more quiet, relaxing time together. Every day, we looked for a place that could restore the wedding ring to its original condition. Until we found the right place, we decided to keep the ring safely stored away. Mia still comes over from time to time, always bringing cake as a gift. Each time, the three of us enjoy a meal together, and it's always a fun and happy time. Mia and Noah get along so well, and the house is always filled with cheerful laughter when they're together. Watching them laugh so joyfully makes me feel happy too, and it reminds me once again just how lucky I am. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.